What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jamly? This, of course, here is Jamira Fan 2000 with a bonus story from uh, a bonus memory and funny story from my recent week in England back in August of 2023. I do have a few little extra stories I can tell from my week long trip that happened between August 22nd to the 27th of 2023 when I was attending Victoria's Festival and got to do many cool things in England. And I hope everybody um, enjoyed this series on my YouTube channel and this limited series. I mean, uh, recounting stories from my week-long trip over in England, and this is a bonus story, so I hope you enjoy this story as well. Now, when I on day two when I was over in England, I went on a tour of London that was led by my great friend Jan or Mrs. P of the Online Jamly, and we went all over London. Uh, we got we came off the train in uh, London and basically we're at the train station waiting for our good friend Wolf who is an old friend of mine from the online family and he met up with us so as a trio we went walking down the tam the Thames and enjoying the the view of uh, the Houses of Parliament in the distance including Big Ben the big clock tower not in addition to the amazing London Eye Ferris wheel which um, that is around uh, which is just massive right in front of the Thames and we made our way through through um, many locales and within down through at central London, including Trafalgar Square, where the music video for Jamaican Wise music video for Runaway was filmed with astronaut JK. But this story deals with a major musical uh, historical location concerning the one of the greatest musical chameleons, one of the most um, thought-provoking arc- artists in all of pop mainstream music, mostly in UK music. Of course, I'm talking about the, the enigma, enigma that was David Bowie. One of the major... Um, locations we visited um, while we were in central London on that day of that great tour was uh, Hedden Street which is an, it tucked away in an innocuous looking uh, Mayfair alleyway um, which is a major landmark if you decide to do a London tour of the life of David Bowie now this alleyway in question was uh, very important because it was the alleyway where David Bowie did the photography for his um, character and, and genre changing of his character into a space uh, man named Z Ziggy Stardust and his backup band of fellow aliens called the Spiders from Mars. Well, in this alleyway at Hedden Street, in this alleyway in Mayfair, uh, David Bowie famously had the photography for his uh, pivotal album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, photographed in this alleyway where it was one shot down the alleyway with a sign saying K West, and this was during the early evening in this photography where David Bowie is dressed up in a onesie looking like Ziggy Stardust with the flaming red sharded hair and the immaculate makeup just standing on a stoop just like lurching back almost looking like a streetwalker and um that was one of the major musical um uh touchstones that i really wanted to visit in london and my friend jan took me there and we had uh, by that time we had had my friends nick and Stuart zender show up um as part of our tour but what was so interesting about this alleyway at least in the modern day comparative to the uh back in the day um the actual spot where david bowie in um that Mayfair uh, alleyway in Hedden Street post, it was basically a blue wall, and it had a, uh, a ceremonial plaque on the wall going on. This spot is where David Bowie did the principal photography for his album, The Rise and Falls of Stardust, back in the early 70s. Um, but what was so interesting about this alleyway was the eclectic mixture of businesses that had emigrated to this alleyway. Um, the most the, the most obvious uh, giveaway of this being an important Bowie spot on the London tour was the massive pub on the corner corner the alleyway goes like this and goes left well on the right right here was a massive pub called the star man which of course was themed after david bowie an absolutely amazing pub um establishment which is adjacent to a kitchen restaurant that was one of the first restaurants founded by a celebrity chef of course i'm talking about gordon ramsay of hell's kitchen fame now what was so interesting about this alleyway was the other eclectic businesses that that were in this alleyway uh right across the um walk path from the Starman was a ramen shop. You know, very reminiscent of something you might see in Naruto, but a ramen shop. And next to that was a a bit of a salsa... Uh, a Latin sound music club, which had a vibrant amount of salsa music playing loudly. And this is live music. This isn't like a, a playback or a jukebox or a pre-recording. This was an actual band. So we're standing there at the Starman enjoying, you know, beverages and each other's company. And what was so weird was the front of the ramen shop had this large animatronic fork that was stuck in some ramen in a bowl. Now, you would think this is just, you know 
a, just a normal statue to advertise his business. But it was animatronic, which means the fork was moving up and down with the ramen going outward, and it gave off a loud splouch sound. And what I mean by a splouch sound was, imagine a fork and ramen going... So you have an animatronic, this giant, giant animatronic ramen ball with a ramen and a fork going boink, boink. and then right next door to that of course I talked about that club that had like live salsa music and other uh, Latin music playing well what was so weird was we're standing there drinking our beers and then all of a sudden this music starts come blaring out of the club like, and then people singing in Spanish you know and there it's just booming okay it's even louder than the Bowie music coming out of the Starman pub so I'm standing there bewilderingly like what the heck? So my eyes start going from the, the loud Spanish uh, salsa music to the ramen, animatronic ramen fork going, boink, boink. and what was so amazing was after about two minutes of the band just going full bore in that club, and then the ramen, they started going in sync with each other. So you had like, boink, boink. And I'm watching this thing, and all I could do was start cackling with laughter. Now my other members, my other friends are standing around going, Brent, why are you laughing? I'm like, just look, look, look the robins with the salsa. <laughs> and I'm pointing, and I'm just cackling with laughter. And my, my friend Nick goes to me, goes, goes, mate, this happens all the time. I'm like, I know, it's awesome, isn't it? And they just like, you know, <laughs> they didn't really react to it, but I, I absolutely cackled with laughter. I thought it was one of the funniest things I ever saw. But um, it was an absolutely awesome memory from that trip to Head and Street for, you know, just a little remembrance of David Bowie and the musical majesty of David Bowie. And I can't stop thanking my, my hosts enough for um, organizing this great trip of London so I could have that memory emblazoned and not in, attend, not in addition to the amazing historical significance of David Bowie and being able to be there at an actual historical marker for the amazing musical majesty of David Bowie. So thank you, Jan. Thank you, Nick. Thank Thank you, Wolf, for being there with me and taking me on this tour. Of course, Stuart Zender for being our impromptu guide during that tour of London. But uh, there you go. That's a, another bonus memory from my um, or my funny story from my week in London back in late August of 2023. I hope you enjoyed this bonus story from this series, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you had any chance to watch the series, it's up there on the front of my YouTube channel, so be sure to watch all those videos if you want some funny stories from my time in England. But um, thank you again for watching. If you like the series, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to ding the bell on your YouTube to stay up to date on all the latest new content coming from the Jamera Fan 2000 YouTube channel. I will try and endeavor to bring you more new content as a video becomes available and more, more news about Jamir Kwai and the band members of Jamir Kwai becomes available for me to report. But as always, this is Jamir Fan 2000 and I'll see you really soon with more Jamir Kwai related content here on the Jamir Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you around.